Hazard types, heavy snowfall. Snow accumulations, 12 to 18 inches. Snowfall rates, 1 to 3 inches per hour is likely at times Tuesday. Timing, Today, snow... Tessie is on a mission. Why? Pennsylvania is in a state of an emergency. Snow. We're supposed to get anywhere from 10 to 24 inches of snow starting tonight. And so, Tessie has to prepare. The snow isn't that bad, but they're calling for 35 to 60 mile an hour winds. This is a northeastern. And last year, we got over two feet of snow. So I know when snow hits like this, it can hit really hard. I'm going to share with you what I'm going to do to prep. This can be for any kind of emergency where you're in shelter in place. In a snow apocalypse like this, you are shelter in place. First thing is heat. We have to have heat. You need to have a source of heat that does not rely on electricity. If you do have a source of heat with electricity, you better have a generator. And we're going to go through those steps next. But first things first. For me is, do I have enough of pellets? Yes, I have enough of pellets to last me for a week. Number two. Do I have a battery operated shortwave radio, transistor radio, FM AM radio? This is battery operated. It will run on batteries and make sure it's totally charged. Also with this little gadget, I can have a light. I can plug in laptops to it. I can plug in cell phones. Please, please make sure you have a portable radio. If the electricity is out, there's no way to get information unless you have a radio that's backed up by a long-term battery. This is a long-term battery radio, which will help you be able to plug in your other devices in case of an emergency. Next, I'm going to show you what we do. All right, what you want in a radio, you want to make sure you have a radio that has shortwave. Shortwave oftentimes will be your best bet in transmission in the case of an emergency. Also, the light on the end of this is extremely bright. So you want to have a radio that you can depend on. Next thing, do you have water? You need to have water for your personal use. Make sure you have water to flush that toilet because in a non-electricity situation in an emergency you won't be able to flush your toilets make sure that you have water on hand because when you have a snow that's coming in this amount and with heavy winds we could be down for a couple days and of course food make sure you have enough of food for yourself and your family and extended family because you never know if they don't have electricity and they don't have the amendments to be able to stay in their home they're going to come to your house so you want to make sure you have food on hand. This is why I have this much food for only two people. Because I know that my family will come to me in the state of an emergency. That could be any kind of emergency, even a large amount of snow. This room does not get heated, so we are fine as far as saving our food in a winter situation. And I have a turkey. I have a turkey saved for just the situation. I cook on a propane stove, so I'm going to make my turkey all day tomorrow. When it's windy and it's blowing, we're going to have a hot turkey meal. That's just another way to stay another prepared. Another way to stay prepared is do you have a generator? You have to have a generator and make sure you have gas and oil for it. The generator is your life source in the case of an emergency. Our generator is only going to be used for heat in our home because the rest of our home pretty much doesn't need the amenities of electricity but a generator. Make sure you have it. Make sure you have the cords to it. Make sure it's ready to go. You don't want to be fooling with it out in 35 degree weather and 20 inches of snow. Make sure you have it ready ahead of time. Another thing you need is snow shovels. Do you have your shovels ready? Make sure they're ready so you have them on hand. Also make sure you have ice melter and salt, things like that. Just another thing you need to have in the case of a emergency that snow. Another thing I like to do is have my solar lights all charged up. I make solar lights from the Dollar Tree. This is what they look like. It's a mason jar with a solar light on top. These solar lights came off of stakes that you can get at the Dollar Tree for one dollar. What I do is I take the stake off, 
and I put the top in a mason jar. Just like this. These will light up really bright. Make sure you have these all charged up. Did you know the day before a major snowstorm, it's usually a very nice and sunny day? A nice and sunny day is usually always preceding a, before a big, large snowstorm. That's just another fun fact. Get your solar lights charged up so we have some light in the house in case when the electric goes out. Do you have lantern oil? Use lantern oil. These are all things that you can do in any situation, no matter what the emergency is. Be prepared. Be smart. Let's recap. What did I cover today? In a state of an emergency where you have to be shelter in place, the following things are very important. If you live in the Northeast, this is what you should be doing. In the Northeast, in the wintertime, make sure you have heat. Make sure you have plenty of fuel for your heat. Make sure you can run your heat without electricity. Make sure you have a generator. Gas for the generator. Oil for the generator. Make sure you have extra water for human consumption. Make sure you have extra water for flushing toilets. Food. Make sure you have food and know how to heat it. We heat on propane that does not use electricity. Make sure you have no weather or make sure you have a shortwave radio that runs on battery, preferably one that runs USBs, phone jacks, and you can run it without electricity. These are the things that you need to cover. Another thing, if they're going for high winds, make sure everything in your house outside is secure. You don't want to have a bunch of rugs and wreaths and things like that flying around in the wind. So make sure you have that secure. There are a lot of other tips, but these are the things that I'm doing today because they're calling for a lot of snow and a lot of wind. There's no time for Tessie to be on YouTube today because today is a prep day. The thing is, make sure you do all these things ahead of time because hindsight is 2020. Do you also have a vehicle that's four-wheel drive if you're living in the Northeast? That's very important, especially if you have health issues. Also, medications. Our home here, we don't use any medications whatsoever, but if you have medications, make sure you stock up on them now. Hubby went yesterday to get something in the grocery store, just something quick, and he said it was bombarded and the shelves were already getting empty. You don't want to be those kind of people in the state of an emergency being out in a panic. Prepare your ahead of time. And if nothing ever happens, at least you're prepared. Because many times in a state of an emergency, you're not going to be giving a warning days or two or three before. The state of emergency is going to happen immediately. These things are all prudent to anyone in this day and age. Thanks for watching, and I'll give you an update when we have the snow. Bye!